Number 18, calculate the pH and the pOH of each of the following solutions at 25 degrees Celsius for which the substances ionize completely. And then we have letter B. So in this case, they tell us that we have 0 0.0143 molarity NaOH. And from there, we have to find out the pH and the pOH. Okay, so first things first is maybe on a quiz or a test, they don't give you the hint in which the substance will ionize completely. Now, there are three species or substances that ionize completely. Strong acids, strong bases, and salts. Now, in this case, we just need to memorize our strong bases because NaOH is on the list. All of these strong bases, your six strong bases, will ionize completely, meaning they will break down into their ions 100% of the time. And... Because of that, we got to write an equation. So the first thing is, is I'm going straight for that equation. I'm saying, okay, I have NaOH, and I know that since NaOH is a strong base, SB, it's going to break down 100% of the time into its two ions. But we just got to figure out what those are. But we know that the break between Na and OH is the split right down the road right here, right? We have Na being a plus one charge, and OH, maybe if I just highlight that in blue, OH minus, right? Okie dokie. Now, what does ionize completely mean in terms of numbers? Well, we started off with 0 0.0143 molarity for NaOH. We just need to transfer those numbers over here, right? Because basically, at the end of the day, you're going to have nothing left here and all of it is going to be on the product side because it's 100%. It's going to convert over to the products all the way through. We finish this out by just looking at the coefficients in the front, right? We assume that this is balanced. And if we noticed that it's a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one relationship, they all have one coefficients. So you take this number and if it's a 1 to 1, and you start off with 0 0.0143, and it's the same number, what do you think this number is going to be in terms of molarity? Yeah, 0 0.0143. And it's going to be the same here. This is through mole ratios that we did long ago when we did stoichiometry. But now the question's asking for, we want to find the pH and the pOH. So now I'm thinking of equations that have to do with pH and pOH. Now I only have two ions here. I have Na plus and I have OH minus. Can I find the pH? Not really, because the pH comes from the acid component, the H plus. But we're in base world. I only see blues here. Blue for base, red for acid. So I'm on this side of the game. Oh, I can find a pOH because I have the OH minus concentration. That's this right here. And this is the only number now that we care about. I don't care about the Na and I don't care about the NaOH. All I care about is that the OH minus was 0 0.0143 molarity. And that's this right here. So I can find the pOH by just doing the negative log of 0 0.0143. And let's just figure out that number. So, negative log of 0 0.0143. Now, the way that sig figs are with the pH and the pOH is that your total number of sig figs, which is 3 here, has to be the number of sig figs after the decimal. So since we have three total sig figs, I need to see three sig figs after the decimal. So it would be 1.845. Three sig figs after the decimal. I don't take into consideration that one. But here would be the pOH. Whoa. Super basic because it's low on the pOH scale. Low numbers on the pOH scale means way basic. Now let's just find the pH. 
So I found this one out first. Now I'm going to go back up to find the pH. So now I just scan some other equations. I got three of them here. Which one is going to lead me to finding the pH from what I have? This one. I'm trying to solve for the pH. I just found the pOH and 14 is 14. Now, the only way that we can use this formula is if we're at 25 degrees Celsius, because that has everything to do with what the KW value is. And they did tell us that. So since we're at room temp, 25 degrees Celsius, I am allowed to use this formula. So I will use it. So pH plus pOH equals 14. Now we're trying to solve for pH now. So if I just rearrange this formula, right, and just try to solve for pH, it would be pH equals 14 minus pOH. You can rearrange it in the beginning, or you can just, you know, plug in your values. That's fine with me. I'm just doing this because it's easier um, for writing's sake for the video. So pH equals 14 minus 1.845, because that's what the pOH was. So let's see, 14 minus 1.845. And I get a pH value. Whoa. <laughs> Love when that, that happens. pH equals 12.155. And there we go. Those are our two values. And also, on the pH scale, this number is way high. Another way to say that this is basic. So it kind of makes sense. We're dealing with a strong base. So it should be basic. And there we go. Those are your two values. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you guys, well, talk to you guys, um, in another lesson, right? Thanks so much for viewing. And I really hope we're giving you great educational content. Let's keep going. Okay, bye-bye.